Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how property binding works in Angular. So, what is property binding? Property binding is when we set the value of an element's attributes using properties defined in the component class. What this means is, is that we are able to pass data from the class to the template. So now we're going to go over a few basic examples. So I'm going to remove this content here. That was just placeholder content. And I'm going to create an image tag here. And uh, its source, I'm going to set, um, well, first things first, I'm, um, I'm going to surround this source attribute in square brackets, which tells Angular that we are using property binding on this source attribute. And um, within the quotes, we can put a variable from the component class. So I'll put image source. Okay, and now we have to go to the component class, and I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to create a uh, create a property uh, called image source. Set that to a string, and now let's go and find an image. So I'm going to go and find. Let's just search uh, wallpaper. Um, and let's get this image for example. I'm going to um, copy image address and I'm going to set image source to this address and now save. So if we now uh, serve this application using ng serve. Okay, so once the development server is up and running, we can go to localhost 4200. And there we go, we have this image. So that's pretty cool. So we were able to set the source of this image to a property in our component class, which was here. So we can now change this image by changing the property in the component class. So let's search for another wallpaper, for example. Let's search for another one. Uh, images, let's find an interesting one. This one's pretty cool. So I'm going to do copy image address. Uh, I'm then going to change this address here. And now save that and go back to the application. And we can now see we have the new image here. Okay, so let's try something a bit more practical. So let's create a button. And let's um, type in click me, save that. And you see we have a button here. So let's say we want to set the disabled attribute to a property in the component class. We can set this to uh, is button disabled. And in the component class, we have to create a property in the component class called is button disabled. And we'll set this to true and save this and save the HTML file. And we can now see that the button is disabled. So, and if we change the value to false, it shouldn't be disabled. And we can now see that this button is enabled. Great. So let's try something a bit more interesting. How about an input? So if we create an input with type text and we want to set the uh, value attribute, so let's surround that in square brackets and set this to a TypeScript expression. So we can now set this to a property in our component class. So I'll say um, input value and save that. And I'll create a property in the component class called input value of type string. Okay, so we can set this to hello world. Save this and go to our app. And as you can see, we now have hello world in the input. Okay, so now let's talk about how to use property binding on custom components. So I'm going to um, open a terminal here and create a new component using the Angular CLI. So ng generate component, and I'm going to create a card component. Okay, so I'm going to go to card. Card.component.html 
And I'm going to create a basic card here. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to, okay, so dot card dot body and dot and I'll, and I'll create a H1 tag with class of title. Okay. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use string interpolation here to output the value of a property in the component class. So I'm going to call this property uh, title. And I'm going to do the same thing with the body. I'm going to output body here. And uh, what we can now do is go to the TypeScript file. And I'm going to introduce you to the idea of inputs. Inputs are how Angular components can get data from their parent component. So I'll show you an example here. Um, type at input, at input, and import that from Angular core up here. And in uh, brackets, type in the property name, the binding property name, which I'll call title. And I'll then assign that to a property called title, which we will type string. And I'll do the same thing for body. So I can now type in body. And now we have our properties title and body, which we can use in the template as we've done here. So if we save this, save that, and we go back to app component.html, we can now delete this line of code and and type in our component app dash card and save that if we now go to the web page we see that there's nothing there and this is expected because we haven't set the values of title and body which we have to do from the parent component via property binding so to do this we type in the name of the property so title and surround that with square brackets, equals, and then here we can type in any valid TypeScript expression. And this can include a string. So I'm going to, in single quotes, type in, this is the title. And I'm going to do the same thing with body. So if I type in body, surround it with square brackets, is equal to, and then in single quotes, type in, this is the body, save that. And if we go to our application, we can see we are getting this is the title and this is the body. So it's working, right? Uh, one thing I'll do quickly is is make this look more like a card. So I just want to go to card component dot CSS and just quickly write some CSS. So okay, so I've just written some very basic CSS code here that makes this component look more like a card. Okay, so let's get back to property binding. Let me explain why we need to put these strings in single quotes here. So right now we have this string encapsulated by double quotes and single quotes as well. And the reason this is, is because when we do property binding using square brackets around the attribute name, Angular is expecting a TypeScript expression. So we can achieve this by surrounding a string in quotes and using it as a TypeScript expression. And that's perfectly valid. So what if we took away these single quotes? So what happened is that the application would crash. And we can see in the console that we get a template pass error. So this is because Angular is expecting a TypeScript expression. And right now it's trying to find an object with the name, this is the title. That's essentially what it's trying to do. We can see this quite clearly if we change this to just this, just this. And we, uh, and we save that and create a property in the component class called this and set it to a string equaling test. Save this and go back to the application and we can see that test is now printed out in the title. Okay, so whenever we do property binding with square brackets around the attribute name, Angular is expecting an object or TypeScript expression. 
so we can put whatever property we want here and as you can see it will then pass in the value of that property and that's why we need to surround strings in single quotes so this in single quotes will now print out this as you can see here but one issue here is it doesn't look very nice so what we can do is we can actually remove these square brackets here and remove these single quotes if we save that and and go back to the application as we can see we now get this as the title so now we can set this as this is the title save that and go back to application and it works right so um that's an interesting thing about angular property binding is that we don't actually need the square brackets so when we don't use the square brackets as we have done here angular is expecting a string you can also pass in a number for example and that would work because javascript can pass that number into a string so Angular is expecting something that it can pass into a string. Okay, so that was the basics of property binding in Angular. Okay, so we've learned how to bind properties to HTML attributes, such as the disabled attribute on the button HTML element and the value property on the input HTML element. And we've also learned how to do property binding on custom components using at input, at input here, and property binding to bind to those inputs here. Okay, so that's it for property binding. It's a very simple concept, but a very powerful one because it means we can now pass data from parent component to child component. And that's a very powerful concept in Angular and will enable you to build very rich, reusable components. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, be sure to post them down in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. See you next time.